Hey everyone, just want to get this word out. The GOP plan, the tax plan, has a provision within it, section 3604, that specifically says that you cannot do a tax-exempt bond financing for professional stadiums. It really means professional sports stadiums, but for some particular reason, they left the sports part out of it, okay? You, you can't do it. And it's important to note because no person that's been connected, that is connected, excuse me, with Las Vegas Stadium Authority has simply said what is in the tax bill. And that is, hey, look, if the GOP tax plan passes, Clark County cannot, cannot float that bond. That bond has to be shifted to another entity of private type of, a private nonprofit type of entity, like a Joint Powers Authority, that also would have to ha prove that it had the bonding capacity. See, this gets really hairy. It has the bonding capacity to, if you will, hold a $750 million issue. Right now, Clark County can do that with ease. But if you cobble together a Joint Powers Authority that consists of, say, the Raiders and uh, what? Clark County can't even be involved. They don't have to be the stadium authority, okay? The stadium authority itself, as a, all right, you just break out that entity, then that organization, the only place you would be able to declare revenues from is the stadium itself, itself. And that creates an ugly problem because the stadium is already burdened by the proposed $850 million construction loan for Bank of America, a Bank of America. And when I took that loan and, if you will, parked it into a spreadsheet representing the stadium event revenue and non-event revenue and revenues expected, and then the costs for the operating costs attached to the stadium, I got a twenty seven million dollar deficit. That's right. I had a twenty seven million dollar operating loss annually. That's twenty seven million more I have to come up with and in case you're wondering that those revenues that I mentioned, both event and non event, include naming rights, among others, okay? So you don't have to um, you don't have to um, have a, a lack of under you don't have to have a deep understanding of numbers, all right, to know that if I already can't pay for a loan and then I have this gigantic bond issue and its debts are heaped up on me, I can't pay for that either. So the Raiders would have to punt. Stephen Hill, who is the great economic development director under for the state of Nevada, um, ha has said that the basically the um, how do you put it? Oh, he said that our only obligation talking about the stadium authority, is to shift over $3 million from the revenue that's collected to date uh, from the revenues to the Raiders, and that's it. Now, that was supposed to go over $50 million. The way it's, um, way right, where it is right now, my projection is it barely crosses the $50 million mark, and we haven't seen the numbers for October yet. If it starts... If it gets to the point where we have another month of deficits, it's going to dip under under 50 million in terms of projections for the year, and then we've really got a problem. Okay? Right now we're headed in that direction. And remember, this is this all happened in terms of monthly revenues from the stadium tax before one October. And as I said before, the stadium tax is 88 and one hundredths of one percent, and it should have been one point four percent. If it were at 1.4%, they would have more money free and clear. 
no, there would be far less anxiety. And really, the only the only issue they would have to worry about is would have been the GOB tax plan. But right now, they've got problems aside of the GOP tax plan, problems that are upon them right now. Okay, right now. So, but I digress. The main point is if the GOP tax plan passes, what's being proposed in Senate Bill 1 will be rendered illegal. All right, see ya.